Welcome to my channel, The Climate Realist. In this video, I will present a claim regarding the effects of climate change, and then offer a rebuttal. I hope you find the video educational. What for you is the most striking impact of climate change that you have experienced firsthand? I think the most uh, vivid uh, probably was um, a few years ago, sadly, uh, uh, now, was on the Barrier Reef. Um, I first went to the Barrier Reef in the 1950s uh, and uh, I was a young underwater swimmer, diver, uh, and I remember, it's the most vivid memory of my, almost of my life, natural history life, the extraordinary experience of diving on a reef and suddenly seeing this multitude uh, of fantastically beautiful forms of animals that you'd never seen before, fishes of all kinds, organisms of all kinds that you didn't really know what they were, even you were supposed to be a zoologist. It, it, there are more individuals and more variety of life there than on a coral reef than anywhere else in the world, even, even more than the tropical rainforest. Um, and I've been, I'm not a very good underwater swimmer, but I've been there a number of times. And I will never forget diving on a reef, which was about 10 years ago now, um, and suddenly seeing that instead of this multitude of, wild, of wonderful forms of life, that it was, it was stark white, it, it had bleached white because of the rising temperatures and the, and, and the increasing acidity of the sea. Uh, uh, and you may say, well, that's just, it was beauty and all that complexity and interest you as a naturalist, that's true. But in fact, it's crucial to the world because coral reefs, about 30 to 40 percent of all oceanic fish, fish throughout the seas, depend upon the coral reefs at some time of their lives. The claim that the corals are currently dying due to climate change is absurd. Corals have existed for 550 million years. They existed eons before and since the dinosaurs. They have existed in waters with vastly different acidic composition. They survived ice ages and massive heat increases in the atmosphere and sea, time and time again. Corals are one of the most resilient and plentiful life forms on this planet. The reason for this, is that once corals become damaged, they can slowly recover over time. This is known as, bleaching, which Attenborough purposefully conflates with dying. If corals were somehow now actually going away, that would be an extremely worrisome sign. But this is not happening, which should be obvious, since nothing today is anywhere near as extreme as the climate in the past hundred of millions of years. The evidence that corals are going away is that a small amount of them are white. This is, once again, not the same as dead. The bleaching is how corals lived through ice ages and much warmer seas than today. Get back to your science then, given that the future of the Great Barrier Reef is uh, often in debate and is being focused on a lot in the uh, election campaign, especially in relation to the Adani coal mine. Your research has suggested that a lot of the, uh, a lot of the claims about coral bleaching are either wrong or exaggerated. That is, of course, coral bleaching occurs in the reef, but you're saying it's linked to uh, warming oceans is highly questionable. And that's right. And the numbers that you've heard, like, you know, 30 or 50 percent of the coral that's died is complete rubbish. When you look at um, it may be 30 to 50 percent of the very shallowest coral died. But when you look at the entire amount of coral, maybe 8 percent died. Now, when you consider that for the whole southern region, there was a 250 percent increase in coral, the loss was actually uh, trivial. Yeah, so uh, well, tell us then how does Adani play into this? I mean, I'm fascinated by people suggesting that stopping a coal mine in central Queensland will somehow change the global environment and, and save the reef. So, what, what's the logic, logic there? There is no logic. A coal mine, uh, it, all that matters is where it's burnt. Uh, the coal is burnt. It can be mined in any of the thousands of mines around the world. And it doesn't matter where it's burnt either because... Uh, CO2 will go around the world in a matter of a, few, a couple of fortnights. So, you know, it's one of yet another one of these completely ridiculous pseudo-scientific arguments that we hear nowadays.
Uh, Sir David Attenborough there said that uh, he remembers 10 years ago diving in the reef and it was all doom and gloom. And yet only five years ago, he made a documentary called The Perfect Reef, in which he showed, as you have often told us on this show, I'll just show you a grab in a second, how coral works. Let's have a look. The corals reproduce in their billions. As they spawn, a giant slick appears on the ocean surface, a spectacular mass gathering visible from space. So, Peter, Sir David Attenborough told us five years ago that the reef was perfect, uh, and now he's telling us that ten years ago he thought the reef was in terrible shape. Uh, what is the truth of the reef, Peter Ridd? Well, the reef goes up and down. You have a bleaching event or a big cyclone, you can lose almost all the coral. Um, but then it comes back within about 10 years. It's like a bushfire on land. It looks terrible for a time, but it, it regenerates. And it always has done over the millennia. You know, the first big bleaching in 1998 that has been documented, they would have gone, gone on long before that, we just never documented. If you actually look at the statistics, the loss of coral overall was, was negligible. You couldn't even see it in the statistics. And even the latest one, which was probably worse, um, the actual drop in coral cover altogether, if you consider all the deep corals, is about 8%, which is a very small amount of coral considering that the whole southern region of the Great Barrier Reef had a 250% increase in coral cover in just seven or eight years. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, share the video, and most importantly, subscribe. If you enjoy my content, consider donating to my Patreon. Since tech giants do not allow me to monetize any of my content, nor promote it, I rely solely on your support. More content will be coming out in the near future. See you next time.